Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as requested from the Clay versus Hermont video, today we have Clay versus Carew. You guys are very good. Do you want to give them a little more background on your highest ATP rankings and UTRs? Yeah, my highest ATP was 408 back in 2016. I played for about 16 months to achieve that ranking and I was also the number one player in NCAA for college. Pretty good. For UCLA Bruins, Pretty good. Yeah. And yeah, you guys are both UCLA yep. alumni. Yep. Yeah. Um, I got to 371 uh, ATP in singles, won three futures titles, got a couple wins over Chris Eubanks, who is, you know, kind of kind of trending right yeah. now. So, ha yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, and played for UCLA yeah. as well. And I think your peak UTRs are both in the 14s. Right I have under. 15. 15? Oh, 15. oh, 15.01 <laughs> out there. That's pretty high level. That's yeah. pretty solid pro. I honestly have no idea what my peak was. Yeah. <laughs> as a... Uh, previous college teammates have you guys played a lot against each other what are we at like head to head we, we practice definitely. practice a lot Matches. we never played a match okay. ever never no i think we've ever played ever like a, a match in a yeah, tournament like a, yeah. any college tournament or nope no wow, so this is a first let's go are yeah. the practice An original matches? practice matches we played a lot close? yeah yeah they're always close okay yeah. who's to say yeah so it'll probably be whoever's <laughs> playing better today yeah, yeah. I'm the underdog. <laughs> You're pressurizing, right? Pressurizing right, right away. <laughs> Do we have any strategies in mind that you're gonna use for your opponents? Probably gonna play my game. My game is pretty good when I when I can play what it. What does that mean? Big serve, big forehand? It's just my game. <laughs> 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 I have no idea. I mean, I just go out there and I just see what works and okay. kind of go with the flow. Right. Uh, I'm probably gonna, ha gonna have to return well. He yeah. serves big and, yeah. you know, keep him on the move a little yeah. bit and, and Try not to play too defensive because otherwise I would be running. So yeah, try to get get ahead of the point if I can. But yeah, just survive a little bit too through the when he's in a hot streak. Yep. So guys, uh, can you go over your rackets? I know uh, a lot of people watching like to know if pro level players like you customize or do anything different with your racket. Just like what are your racket specs in general? I got the T Fight 305 from Technifiber right now, the one that Medvedev's using. Okay. Um, with the triox string, it's sort of a blend between poly and synthetic, which I really like because before I used the main and the crosses, uh, so I used main, poly, and crosses gut. But once this string came out, I kind of started using uh, just this. And, yeah. And I love it. I got a lot of weight in the handle. I don't think there's too much weight in the head right now. Um, each one comes off the stock a little bit different, so usually sometimes we make a few tweaks, but on this one, I guess we didn't. And, and your uh, tension, Clay. Thirty-nine pounds. Thirty-nine. Wasn't it forty-two before? No, maybe I mean, it was it's been at 28 before. <laughs> it's been a lot of stuff. Crew? Uh, 2023 V-Core 95. Uh, pretty stock aside from some weight oh, here. Oh, there's, okay. There's a little bit of lead tape. Yeah, yeah. some lead tape, lead tape here. Yeah. So it's about 340 grams total. Um, and stringing with the string I can't talk about just yet. So okay. that's going to be a surprise. Um, and at 60 pounds. 60. Oh, you're, yeah. That's opposite pretty tight. Spectrum, so. Yeah, opposite. <laughs> yeah, tight. And uh, yeah, it's really Yonex grip. Nothing crazy. Not not even uh, leather grip. Just a, the normal yeah. grip that comes out. Yeah, pretty stock. So guys, I know this is pretty much a professional level matchup. So I wanted to get you guys' opinion if you like this kind of matchup more on YouTube versus on ESPN or the tennis channel. So let us know in the comments below if you like this kind of YouTube content more or less than ESPN and why. Just curious. As always guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, check out My Tennis HQ, and also check out the Improve app, which I'll link below. Down? Down. It is down. I serve? Or you're just you deferring? No, you I serve. serve. Okay, I'll take this side. Nervous at all? No, not right now. It's this good. morning, I was. <laughs> this morning. Right now, no.
Take that. Three break points. Clean serving game. Yeah, yeah, tough game. I'm just looking for a few chances. I don't need every game. <laughs> Oh, 
take that. One break, you're back. Time to think on that one. Mm -hmm. I had a racket on it. Finally had a racket on it. <laughs> Can I hit it? Have it in your head. What do you want to do? <laughs> That's a banana shot, that one. Oh, you're gonna do a drop shot at first. Actually, it's not a bad thing. Right. Did you think about it? No. Oh. I just like, I like I want to take it early. Oh. But I didn't move fast enough, and then I was in between. And I made a mistake. Holding a bridge. The only thing that'll do it. Last chance here. Go out big. Definitely. Here we go. Come on, Winnie. Come on. Not done yet. Come on, YouTube. You don't go down without a fight. Sneaky guy here. <laughs> pretty shit serve too. Let's go man. Hit the break. Oh, what the f <laughs> what was that? Oh, my. All right, get it back I together. I myself being a little more aggressive. That was uh, a bit extreme. That is my shot, though. Backhand down the line into the fence. I think I call it out. Yeah, I, I was going to call it out. I think it. I call it out for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Looked out to me.
Good, Good match, guys. All right, guys. Crew ended up winning 8-5. Pretty close match. One break of serve. One break of serve. I think it was really close and a lot about serves and returns, holding serves and breaking. One break is all you need, so. Yeah. How do you um, guys think you played? I think this is, at the end of the day, like at, at this level, it's a lot about like those first four shots, right? Like are you serving, putting those first balls away or making mistakes on the first mm -hmm. ball? Um, I think I think it, I might have done a little bit better job like um, not making some, some mistakes early on. Clay, I think, had a couple chances that he gave me some mistakes. And you can see how the margins are very small, right? He, yeah. he hits, you know, love 30, misses one return and one first ball. And, you know, I go from a really high pressure situation to like a little more chill situation. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just on my end, you, you guys can see like there's games there. I didn't even have a, a look on his serve. Yeah. And it's just part of it. Um, and I have to just, like survive and hopefully get a chance. I got that, that one game that I played a little bit better and got some looks yeah. and got the break and was able to kind of just hold. Yeah, it's a good analysis. Um, I think I had a couple chances in the return games that I didn't capitalize on. I had a couple love 30s, 15 30s, and that's just, you know, if I get one of those, we're at 7-6 and it's a, it could be a whole, whole different match. Um, the game that he broke me in, I think what he was doing really well, I haven't played someone that kind of has the pace as of Peru recently, and he was taking time away from me on my serve and getting it to my backhand, like quick, and I just haven't been rushed like that recently. And you know, he did a really good job of kind of catching me off guard there, and that's how he got the break. And. You know, he held on to it well. So I, I think overall it's a good match. I think uh, I have a lot of things that I can improve upon. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we get to do this again. And uh, you know, maybe I'll get a shot at some other players too. One thing I noticed was I feel like, Clay, maybe your serves have a couple more uh, miles per hour to them. But Kuru, you, you place them really well and set the point up and are still really effective at, with your serve even like with a maybe a, a little slower of the serve. Yeah. It's still pretty fast though. Yeah, uh, that's something that definitely I think in the last few years my serve has gotten a lot better yeah. for serve clay knows that from college to to nowadays it's a completely different yeah. different serve and, yeah. and and i'm confident in my targets yeah. really and and you know i try to make them hard to read which is you know i, I have to play with what i have right like he's tall he can bomb it even when i kind of know where his serve is going <laughs> i don't have a chance yeah and i have to kind of play around and hopefully uh s sneak it a little bit and, and if i hit my target I can play well, and obviously I threw some serving volleys in there too, to kind of keep him honest. And I think, in theory, the advantage that a taller guy would have, aside, I mean, maybe a few miles per hour, but like I feel like when he's, you know, hitting his good serves, they're just as fast as mine. I don't know if I'm wrong, but like I, I think that. I agree. The advantage that I have would be that it's easier for me to make a higher percentage of them because I don't have to. Just because your height is hard necessarily. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what I felt like in the beginning, like your first serve percentage was pretty low. Yeah. And that's when I had the chance. Like if you're playing a Fritz there, like he yeah. takes like, he takes that and it's four zero. Yeah, exactly. And like, if, you know, if, if I, <laughs> can't if I like that's, that. that's the next level for, for someone like me. Like if I, you know, wanted to get better, I would, I need to just like punish you for having those, mm -hmm. those periods yeah. of low first yeah. serve percentage. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. something I still will struggle with in matches and depending on the level, I can yeah. weather off, but but yeah definitely once i started hitting the first a lot more then the match becomes a lot easier on my end but yeah clay has the high he has the angle too on the serve like a dang i mean his his yeah. ball trajectory is a lot different so yeah, yeah it's, we gotta have to play with what you got really and figure yeah. out how to be effective all right clay you are still clay the exterminator on my channel if we ever have I've any more Vermont ones, yeah you're the exterminator <laughs> i have been exterminated yeah. today oh, well well any any other amateurs that want to challenge they have to go through clay first <laughs> As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. Check out My Tennis HQ and the Improve app. Yeah, go check out the My Tennis HQ School and the Improve app, something that Clay and I have been working on for a long time. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, we have um, a return course in there that's exclusive to, to Improve. So if you guys want to check it out, check the link below. Uh, support us for this endeavor. Yeah, and I'll link everything below. And leave some nice comments for these boys for playing today. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, see guys. You.